हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू चेयर साइड स्पीकिंग अबाउट टू स्टेज इम्प्लांटोलॉजी लोकलाइजिंग द सबमर्ज इम्प्लांट अंडर द जिंजाइवल टिश्यू वॉज कंसिडर टू बी अ वेरी टाइम कंज्यूमिंग प्रोसेस यू ऑल्सो नीड टू रिफ्लेक्ट अलॉट ऑफ द सॉफ्ट टिश्यू बिकॉज ऑफ विच द हीलिंग पीरियड इज प्रोनाउंड वेल नॉट एनी मोर वॉट आई एम अबाउट टू शो यू टूडे इन दिस वीडियो इज अ मैजिकल इक्विपमेंट विच विल हेल्प अस डिटेक्ट द सबमर्ज इम्प्लांट विद इन सेकेंड्स एंड विदाउट एक्सेसिव कटिंग ऑफ सॉफ्ट टिश्यू so this is the implant locator which i have been talking about and uh, this you can say is a kind of a dental metal detector this device works on a simple double a size battery making it very very light and portable it has a light segment here and an on and off button so the implant locator packaging includes six autoclavable sensor tips and it also comes with two sensor holders and this is how we can actually attach the sensor holder along with the sensor tip to the implant locator this is a sensor tip and it fits into the sensor holder like this in case you're operating on the maxilla we can just flip it the other way around and go ahead and use this easily so it's a very simple gadget to operate we just push the on and off button once and we hear a beep sound we can see that all the four light segments are turning green that means the locator is auto calibrating Once the green segments start blinking together like this, it means that the implant locator is ready for use. So just to show you how this works, I have a model with implants placed inside. Now I will place the implant locator at some estimated distance from the site of implantation. As I move it towards the implant, I will see that the light becomes steady green and once I cross the implant, it turns into an orange color which means that I need to go back to my start position. There it is. This green dot here tells me the exact position of the implant. I can then repeat the exact sequence in the buccolingual direction so that I have a three-dimensional position of my implant. So let's go ahead and see how we use the implant locator on our live case. This is the case where I have placed an implant in the four six region a few months ago. I am uh, highly satisfied by the healing, and it's time for the second stage surgery now. So in this case, instead of raising the flap, I shall use the implant locator. So I've already scrubbed my patient with some betadine, and I'm now going to use uh, some local infiltration to numb the patient. I had the sensor tip already autoclaved in a sterilization pouch. Uh, I will just retrieve it now and place it on the sensor holder. So I'll just put on the implant locator, and you can see that it's calibrating itself. It's also a good idea to mop the area with some gauze before we use the implant locator. I'm now going to place the sensor along the crest at some estimated distance from the implant site and slowly move the sensor along the jaw. It's also very important to have a smooth movement in the same direction until we get this green dot. Then as usual, I repeat the same movement buccolingually. Now once I reach my final implant position, I will hold the locator in place and my assistant will just get in a straight probe which I will use to mark that site. I have a corresponding tissue punch already autoclaved and ready with me. I will use this around the marking to cut the tissue and expose the implant. All I have to do now is just retrieve this tissue with an instrument and remove the cover screw. I will then place a gingival former and wait for the soft tissue collar to form. Now I'm using something very interesting called the Oraid which is a cellulose dressing and it's available with chair side. This kind of protects the site as there's obviously going to be some inflammation there. It's also again a very good choice to use for smokers. This is immediately post operative and uh, you can see how nicely the Oraid adapts to the ridge. So you saw how easily I could locate the submerged implant using the implant locator without raising a flap. This could be extremely beneficial in multiple implant cases. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Chairside Education for more videos. See you next week.